or 18 seconds. Yeah, because Facebook takes like forever to connect up. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Facebook. It's, it's YouTube. YouTube. Facebook connects up in like 10 seconds. Okay. YouTube takes forever. So, we're talking to, hey, where's our little um, chat? Oh, I'm looking up the chat. Okay. Anyway, so we're talking. Hey, okay. welcome everybody. Hi, I am Miriam's co-founder and CEO of Keto Chow. Check us out at ketochow.xyz. I'm Chris, also a co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, we have a couple of products we created to help make doing a keto diet easier. Our main product is a complete keto meal you can customize to fit the macros that work best for you. We also have some electrolytes that are awesome. We do this live stream to keep you updated on all of our keto chow happenings to help us be accountable, stay on track, and have you with us on our journey. So thanks for joining us. Joining us with, with Jeremy and Tara. Tara Wright from <laughs> Tara's Keto Kitchen. <laughs> That's right. Oh, We're man. so excited to have them with us. That's correct. So we first met them um, at, it was Low Carb. Omaha. Omaha. It was low carb Omaha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Because Tara had a a table set up, and she was doing cooking demonstrations, and yep. we just hit it off. And then then we got to hang out with you guys at, at Metabolic Health Me Summit. the Metabolic Health Summit. We've only met twice, but it seems like we've <laughs> we've been hanging out for years. It sure <laughs> does. When you go back to the beginning of the whole pandemic thing, so <laughs> which feels like five years ago. I yeah. Know. We're, we're three talking about Metabolic Health Summit coming up uh, whenever that comes up. And we're like, it seems like a lifetime ago that we were there. And, and now yeah. it's like, really, it's not even been a year. So it's crazy. Now, um, so for those of you who don't know, the, um, the Metabolic Health Summit is a, it's a conference that, well, last year went on in early May. No, it was in January. Oh, in Jan you're right, in January. <laughs> it's in early May in this 2021, the weekend which Mother's means Day. that Jeremy and Tara, are you guys going to be on the low-carb cruise? Did they move the date? It's the same. Oh, are you talking about metabolic health? Yeah, They're they moved it. It's the yeah. same weekend. Uh, yeah, we're booked at speakers at the low-carb <laughs> cruise, but we also have tickets to metabolic <laughs> health summit. So oh, I guess man. We'll <laughs> I guess we'll see which one really happens and do that one. Yeah. It's, and the reason we really wanted to go to Metabolic Health Summit this year is because we have family in Santa Barbara. Uh, where we're uh, so it worked out really well, you know, get to see some family and do the thing that we do. Yeah. But, okay. Um, yeah. We're so still wondering if low carb cruise is going to happen. I think yeah, it's going to happen. We're just hoping that I, it's going to um, happen. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, they do say that they're giving full refunds to people who are just buying their tickets and everything. We we already bought our tickets or our passages. Our, we booked our cabins. How yeah. about that? There and our go. whole family. Yeah, I think it was just a deposit. Yeah, it, right point. now it's just a deposit, and they actually gave us quite a bit of the deposit back because they lowered the price. Oh, did they? Yeah, mm -hmm. like like a lot. Uh, we got about five hundred dollars back per cabin. So are you taking the kids? Yeah. We are taking We're the taking whole the crew. And now here's the here's the thing. We don't know whether two of our daughters are actually going to be still here yeah, or if they're going to be in college, college or doing whatever. So we got them tickets and then we asked Chris's parents, if they don't come, do you want to come with us? <laughs> like <laughs> so, stand by. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to say. So the least. we may or may not have them with us. We'll see. Anyway, so okay, so we have Tara. Tara is the one, obviously, with the uh, rose-colored glasses. I made fun of you a little bit, but they serve a good purpose, right? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's like my bedtime right now in <laughs> Iowa. Oh, you're in Iowa. Okay, so yeah. Central Time Zone. So yeah. they're 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 blocking blue light. Miriam's block blue Might light block too. Blue light too, but because you can see the reflection. Yeah, they reflect Sometimes blue they reflect light blue. like crazy yeah. with mm -hmm. our lights. But um, so Tara's the one in the rose-colored glasses. Jeremy is the one who looks like an army ranger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a reason for that, right? It is. Yeah. I mean, I am in the guard it, and it has been one of the most unique years of my life in the guard because I've done so much training from home. Mm. Oh, wow. And, you know, the, the guard, you know, the military is kind of like uh, usually not down for that kind of nonsense. And yeah. uh, they were all over it this year. So I did a lot of training from home. Speaking of the guard, um, Deb wants to know if we ship to APO. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. 
because we love our first responders and our military. Mm-hmm. And we even have a, a military yeah, discount. Yeah, we have a discount too. In case you want to know. You're like, well, all thank right. You, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank we, you. I, I, I spent a couple of years in Korea and I spent a couple of years, uh, or I spent a year in Iraq. And oh, wow. Um, back then, not everybody shipped to an APO. And, you know, it was kind of a big deal. So it it's weird because it's super easy. Yeah, it's it, it really is. It really is. But you know, like the web was the web purchasing experience back mm-hmm. in 2004 was a lot different from. Oh wow! Oh for sure. 2004. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess you're right. You're like, where's the selection for APO? Like it didn't exist. <laughs> it's like middle of nowhere. I don't know where it is. Mm-hmm. It's Guam. Who knows? Okay, so um, let's get down to brass tacks. Tara and Jeremy, what is it that you guys do? You want to answer this one? No. No. Okay. He always pushes this off on me. (laughs) Well, it's your baby, kind of. (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, so we have a YouTube channel, Terrace Keto Kitchen, and that's kind of where everything started. Uh, So, see, we started keto back in 2017. Okay. Um, I was diagnosed that year with endometriosis after struggling for 20 years trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And I was already health coach at the time. And so I'm like, okay, well, I had figured out how to use food and supplements to get off all my medications for migraines and get rid of migraines. And that's actually why I became a health coach because I was determined to figure that out. And I was like, okay, uh, 37 radical hysterectomy doesn't sound like something I want to even explore. Let's (laughs) see what I can do through through food. And so I just got obsessed. And Jeremy was just like, every time we got in the car, I had like some book like we were reading some book, audio book or whatever. I was constantly reading book. And I think it was Brain Maker that got him interested in keto because he has some Alzheimer's in his family. Oh, well, that's um, right. Yes. Inflammation was probably a big part of my problem. And so we all know how powerful keto is for inflammation. Uh, so I jumped on. Jeremy looked at me. Do you remember what you said? Yeah, I, I was really into craft beer at the time. <laughs> I, I thought you were, were still into beer. craft beer, man. He yeah. goes, never. <laughs> and I go, fine, but will you support me? Like, I'm like, just keep your, like, keep the carbs out of the house. Like, like just eat them at work. <laughs> you know, back in the day when we left at the house to go to work. And <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. that. But he saw how, how like my results in the first 30 days were just phenomenal with the reduction yeah. in inflammation, the reduction in symptoms. I was having like so many things improved for me. He was like, you know, I think I'm going to start. And I was like, okay, I guess I better figure out how to make some really good recipes <laughs> so I can keep you on with me. So that's how Tara's Keto Kitchen started. Um, I had, when I was a little girl, I remember sitting at the kitchen table when my mom was like cooking in the kitchen and I would make my sisters, little sisters, watch me have my little own cooking show. And so (laughs) everyone was like, you should do a little cooking show on YouTube. And so that's what we started with. But now we do training, we do coaching, we do a lot of different things now. Okay. Um, Now, I'm going to see if I can pull this off. Let's see. You'll see. Okay, I think I can do that. Whoa, there we go. We just got so tiny. We got so tiny. Okay, so if I go to Terra's Keto Kitchen, because I want to pull up your guys' YouTube channel. There we go. Terra's Keto Kitchen. There you are. 132,000 subscribers. That's kind of nuts. Okay, so... Who does all your thumbnails? Because they're awesome. So in the very beginning, I I hired a video editor. So I actually have a professional video editor who does all my um, editing for me. Still? Yeah. Wow, that's great. She's amazing. She's in Bulgaria. Uh, She's super creative. Um, So... You know, so the keto tips are segments that we cut from our live streams because nice. people okay. want to ask us. They're like, hey, can we want to find these topics faster. So now we cut out segments from our live streams. Um, and those are very casually edited. But like the recipe videos with dual camera angles and everything like that, she she does all that editing and does lots of advice on my photography. <laughs> if you look at some of my early recipes, it's so bad. I like I like this one where you're like, with the real, you're like, ah. That's <laughs> just, it's just awesome. <laughs> okay, so let me, anyway, so we're back. So you've been doing lots of stuff on YouTube. 
Um, you also have, and you, you talked about this a bit earlier that you do coaching. Um, right. and it's, you, you, you have one that you do on Sunday nights. Is that correct? That's the live stream. That's the live stream. Yep. And we try to go to that and we keep on not being able to go to it. It's like our kids want to eat dinner with us or something. Yeah. yeah. It's there on the well, calendar. It's literally it on the calendar every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it, we understand like it's <laughs> up to like nail down a day that you want to do a live stream because you oh, want yeah. to be accommodating to the people that are going to watch. Mm -hmm. It's true. And so we have moved ours once or twice and we moved it yeah. up earlier because there was somebody else doing a live stream in our slot. Oh, okay. Some of our viewers um, like to watch. So okay. We went earlier. Yeah. So now we're at four o'clock central, which would be what? Three o'clock your time. Yeah. 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 It's right about the time we're eating. Yeah, we on eat on Sundays we like tend to eat twice. On Sunday. Even or, the, even the kids or only just twice. once. Yeah. yeah, we a lot of times just eat once. One big dinner at three. But now you also do a coaching session with. Now is it with your Patreons? That you no, do that? so we have we have a membership program. It's okay. Called, yeah, it's called the Sustainable Keto Membership, and it's it's we focus a lot on mindset, psychology, like how do you really get and implement like lifestyle change over the long term. Um, because really the, the problem with keto gets picked on a lot for this, but the problem yeah. with any diet is that most people look at it as a band-aid solution. And, and I've been there that people just want to kind of lose the weight. Um, I think it's backslash membership, whole body living okay. backslash membership. If I can um, not override it. So we we're really focused on, how do you how do you build good habits? And one of the best ways to do that is to have a support group. Okay. Uh, so it's it's really a, a support group. We meet weekly on Zoom. Um, they get a lot of extra benefits in addition to that that call. Yeah. Uh, so for but right now we're actually running a ninety day keto challenge for the last ninety days of the year, and this first run is absolutely free. Um, so I did this last That's year. With with my that, seven. No, that's not the seven day course, is it? No, but last year I did it with this, the same thing. I did a free, I did that free twice in a row. Okay. And I learned and I made it better each time. And now that's like a how to start keto course. That's what that is. Nice. Um, but uh, goodness, this link, I think it's like, uh, if you scroll down to the search bar, okay. And type in a uh, challenge. Challenge. Are you asking for a challenge? <laughs> I can I'm spell like, a challenge. Oh my there god! There it is uh, on the left. Ninety day keto yeah. challenge. Yeah, so that's Sweet. totally free right now. Uh, so it's really, and it's not even. You don't even have to be on keto. Do you want to drop that link into it, the chat? Yeah, I will. Yeah, it's just super focused on on mindset and just like kind of getting your head right as we close out the year, so that we can show up January first stronger, like ready okay. to really move forward. Yeah, we yeah. just we were kind of like. We're uh, two months ago. We we're just like, man, 2020 is a turd. Yeah. <laughs> you just what noticed this two months ago. <laughs> well, we, it didn't, you know, we just knew that a lot. Well, what the, can we do? Or like, well, the we're direct coming up. the, like, it was, yeah. the, I think after the Dureco hit Iowa and just like destroyed our family farm. Um, oh, yeah, wow. just like really... land hurricanes are happening now. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we just looked at the counter and like, well, you know, We've got more than a quarter left in the year. Why don't we try and do something a little bit bigger and give something for people to look look at uh, and focus on rather than all of this other crap that they've been focusing on for the, the, the last, you know, nine months. Yeah. And make, you know, this is enough time to really implement uh, some new habits, change some things about themselves mm -hmm. and really try and launch into 2021 really strong. To where they don't have to think about their uh, what's my New Year's resolution going to be like. I don't even want to think about that in 2021 because I want to be doing the things that I've already you know planned on doing because I've been doing the work for the last 90 days. Like let's hmm. take this year and let's polish this turd, right? <laughs> <laughs> let's make it better. What, whatever whatever's left of it. Yeah. yeah. Now is that is the 90 day program already going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, we started on the 2nd, because October 2nd, uh, okay. we were actually on vacation in Mexico, but I was like, nope, that's 90 days. Do <laughs> it. 
you know, so I did a little work. I admit Jeremy was a little frustrated with me, but uh, it was worth it. Um, but yeah, you, but people can start anytime. Okay. Uh, so it'll, it'll, when you sign up, it'll start to start you at day one. Oh, okay. So you can just, whenever you start, it just starts. That's awesome. Yep. yep. Yep, because the best time to start a keto diet was a couple weeks ago. Next best time to start is right now. I know. <laughs> exactly. Just before Halloween. Yeah, it doesn't matter. time to start. <laughs> but that's when, like, that's that was always, like, my nemesis was Halloween. Oh, yeah? Because, like, how, whatever the healthy eating I was doing would just, mm -hmm. like, fall apart at Halloween. And mm -hmm. then you get all up in your head and you're like, well, I'll just stay off till Thanksgiving. Well, and then I'll just wait till January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you've got two months of built up, like, <laughs> binging, <laughs> like glucose overload and inflammation yeah. and everything. And then you wake up January 1st and you're like, why did I think that was a good decision? That was a <laughs> terrible decision. It's like that whole phrase, like, oh, that's future Tara's problem. Yeah. Eventually, the future catches you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to climb that mountain, but first, I'm going to go on this river rafting trip and just go down the river. So, <laughs> so I can yeah. come up the river and then climb the mountain. That's exactly right. I actually started, I think, on the 26th of October. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I won't be having Halloween candy. I think I started in October, too. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Huh. Okay. But it was good a time to later. start. Yeah. It was a good time. Good so, time um, you get, okay, so you have the the coaching program, and and is that just with the ninety day thing, or do you guys do other coaching as well? Uh, so uh, the ninety days kind of a unique a unique thing that we're doing. It's it's really a new way to do a challenge. I've never seen it done this way. So I'm I'm releasing weekly video content, and then there's you get emails every single day. Oh. So, and it doesn't matter where you are with keto. I saw somebody ask um, if it would be beneficial if they're strict keto and have been for a long time. And absolutely, it doesn't matter where you're at. If you're just starting, thinking about starting, you don't want to do keto, you want to do low carb, you want to eat something totally different. It's really more focused on like the psychology and neuroscience of habit change. Mm. So the dozens and dozens of books I've been reading over the past three years, just kind of I'm pushing everything together um, to just help people move out of that stuck mindset because so many of the emails we're getting and comments we're getting, people are just feeling really overwhelmed and really mm -hmm. stuck. Like they're in a rut and they, they feel the pressure of the holidays coming, but the holidays look so different this year and yeah. they're stress eating and they're emotional eating. And they're just, they're just desperate to just get back to that good place they were in the beginning of the year. And so many of these people were just rocking it in March, you know, and then it's just kind of like, they feel like the rug was pulled out from mm -hmm. under them. So That's because it was, it was. <laughs> Jeremy's <laughs> not the only one with a Corona problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, so it's, it's more about how do we get out of that rut? I mean, it's, it's around keto and we're using like some of the YouTube videos that help like train about how to do keto to help help support people who are getting started, but it's really way more focused on this this mindset and what we need to do to prepare ourselves to you know to step into 2021 and make 21 a much better year than 2020 was, regardless of what happens. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna introduce just some novel things within those 90 days that aren't necessarily going to be aligned with some of that stuff. Like I I'm planning to do like a, probably somewhere like a two week fast. Okay. We're in there. Oh, that'd be cool. I want to do that. 14 um, days. The, the last time I did a fast, uh, well, not the last time, but the second to the last time I did uh, from, what was it? Christmas Eve to New Year's. Like, and I literally sat around with my family while they frosted cookies and did all the things. Uh, and yeah, but at that tough. point, it's like, it's somebody else's problem. And you're just like, <laughs> okay, who, what, what you're whatever. Saying is he doesn't have to clean. But, the you know, but for the, <laughs> right? for the disciplined ketogenic dieter, you know, we're going to, we're going to try and just do something that's a little bit different and maybe give you an opportunity to, you know, be part of uh, a community within the community kind of yeah. thing. And you know, just try and get a little bit better and do something that maybe you've never done before or thought you could do. Huh. I'm down. Let's do About it. About two weeks? Two weeks. Last two weeks of the year? 
I, I think I'd rather do a seven day first. Let's do it. Yeah, we should do a seven day first. <laughs> <laughs> Baby steps. The, I remember when 24 hours, 72 hours was huge. Then it was like 48 was like, I was writing a blog post about, oh, I made it all the awesome way to 48 <laughs> hours, man. And now it's like, ah, 72 is okay. I guess I could go to 100, but you know. Yeah, well, I've never done more than 72, but I want to. I totally want to. What did you want to say? Come on, you want to say something? I, I just want you to join along. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I guess we got to get our thing. It. And so, just you know, and and that's part of like this challenge, right? Is being in this community and actually talking about these things. It creates some accountability. Even for me, it creates accountability to talk about yeah. these things publicly, so that we stick to them. And mm -hmm. that's even more important, like this time of year. Like, tell people, like, if you are going to struggle during Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, mm. talk to somebody about how you feel like you're going to struggle. Um, that is really powerful for the brain to, you know, speak that out into the world and then have people ask you about it later on. Like, how are you doing with, you know, this 90 day challenge that you're going through? And then you're like, oh, I'm accountable to this person in some way, shape or form. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Trisha said, I can barely do an 18 hour fast. You that's know okay. what? You can do an 18 hour fast. Yes, which is amazing, right? <laughs> it's what, like twice as long as most people in the United States go yeah, without food? Yeah, my kids can do an 18. Well, that's not true, <laughs> but it seems like it. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know if you guys, you guys have kids? Yeah, they have lots of kids. That's what we I thought. Have four teenagers, yeah. And four they're teenagers. all girls. Okay. Oh my oh, goodness! I forgot about one of that. them That's right. <laughs> not be a teenager anymore. One of them is oh. twenty in November. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what, can, we, can I still say teenagers, or what do I have to do? Like, like twenty old person. <laughs> yeah, older than sixteen. Adult child. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever we go on a family trip, well, there's there's four of us that are doing keto, and four that aren't, mm -hmm. and. Goodness. Our car, our poor carb burners. We always forget about them. We'll be going around like, and and there'll be like, I'm hungry, and they'll be like, get what? Well, it's we, been like we, four we were hours in Houston, five hours since you ate, and oh. we we had a day where we went from museum to museum. zoo to museum. It was nuts, and our poor carb burner, our youngest, he, he was, was melting, die. and <laughs> it was sad. We're like. Oh, yeah, maybe we should get some food. So we Here, stopped at the it, zoo. <laughs> we got some food. There were chickens running around where we were eating. And so that was fun. And that then was everybody was fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so they're poor carb burners. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Okay, so you don't just do the coaching. You you talked about, you know, doing your your little cooking show. Uh, when you're a little, little <laughs> girl, a cooking show. <laughs> cooking show. <laughs> Jeremy wanted to be a chef on TV too, right? Yeah. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were growing up, Jeremy? Firefighter? Astronaut. Oh, no. Oh, he built computers in his basement. Yeah, I've, I've been nice. a computer nerd for a long time. <laughs> what was the first way. operating system you installed from scratch? They're not as old as you are. Uh, it was DOS. Yes, they are. Yes, yeah. they are. DOS. First one I installed was Windows NT4, just so you know. Anyway. That was <laughs> but, boring. <yeah. laughs> no. Hey, I come on. Where you're like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back on track. You guys. So Tara, <laughs> you also do cookbooks, right? Yes. So hey, my there's somebody behind you. Oh, there's one right know. here. <laughs> we got this before you got yours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even signed. I'm totally jipped. What the heck? I know because I it came right from my printer there in Utah. You have to see me to get it signed. Yes. We we'll should have to over arrange there. that. Um, okay, so you, you you've done books, right? Yeah. So the the cookbook was my first like book book, um, but like cookbook printed, and then um, but before that, if I can. My 30 day keto planner was the first one that I released oh, in is. February. I think it was January. Fe also, January, February. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really right hard. There. There. <laughs> yeah, it is. The cat cover. Are, are you showing us the gun show, Jeremy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, the 30 day uh, keto planner, Miriam got one of those. And 
she's been going on about that for months. Yes. And it's blank. She's got the smaller <laughs> version of this. I've one, got, right? well, and I've got two of them. I have the first one that you came out with and then the new one that you came out with at the same time, which I really like the like individual tracking pages because yes, it's nice to have a chronometer and everything on your phone that's always with you, but there's something about having a piece of paper that you have and you write it all out and it feels, I guess it feels more accountable to me to have a paper. Yeah. And I'm just, I, there's just some magic. Like when you hold a pen in your hand and you write stuff out on paper, like there's, there is some magic. There's some neuroscience there that it just makes you more accountable. And sometimes things come out on paper that you don't even realize are in your brain. I don't know if you Mm -hmm. ever have that happen, but I don't know. Planners, just in general, using a planner every day, when I'm doing that really consistently, like things just work, like things are much smoother. Jeremy's the same way, aren't you? Mm-hmm. When he uses his planner, he is. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's just terrible at it. <laughs> oh man, the stories my mom would tell. <laughs> <laughs> he never had notebook paper in his backpack Yeah, because he would just borrow it from his friends. Oh, all the that time. sounds like wow. my child too. Yeah. I'm like, do you need any pencils? No, I just borrowed them. Well, no, you can have your own. Oh, no, but then I have to take. I care use of other them. people to store oh, that. I see. Okay, well, let's talk about the keto cupcake cookbook. Oh yeah, so so I've been doing no dairy and no nuts, and there's a whole bunch of no nuts recipes in here, and I didn't even know that, so I'm super excited. Yeah, they're they're actually technically nut free because it's all coconut flour. Because it's basically. coconut flour, mm-hmm. and I could totally do that. And Just gotta get some acacia gum. Free. Yep. So that's awesome sauce. And th- when it, and it's funny, she said, "Yeah, but it needs acacia gum." I'm like, "Well, Tara said you can use keto chow instead of yes. acacia gum." And Aaron said, "Yeah, it but has that has dairy protein in, it. in the keto chow." <laughs> so we can do that, and I will do that eventually. But right now, I'm not. Going well, to. we have a ca- I have giant bags of acacia know, gum. I, I was going to say, there's right no here. way you guys don't have it. <laughs> I just have don't so much have it at gum. our house. <laughs> I have several different manufactured versions of the, acacia the gum. The different um, weights and the, um, different the meshes. Meshes. Mm-hmm. Meshes size. I also have, in case anybody wants some, a 55 pound bag of xanthan gum. Yeah, oh we goodness. have xanthan gum. How would you ever use that? Well, it's because we used to mix it ourselves, and I bought a bunch just before we stopped. Mm. And so. Seriously, it's like, what am I going to do with this? It's not even been opened. It's, ooh, ooh find a pool. Ah. <laughs> okay. We actually, at one time, if for any of you who aren't familiar with xanthan gum, xanthan gum is weird. It's like slime. It acts like a non-Newtonian fluid yeah, like when it's starch. dry, like cornstarch. It'll just sit there, and then all of a sudden it flows mm-hmm. like it's water. And if it gets on stuff, it makes this slick, sticky, gooey. Mm-hmm. I don't. It's just weird. We used to keep it in a big, huge tub. And one time, I dumped it on the floor, Ooh. on the carpet, and it took so long to clean up. It's such a mess. We ended up tearing out the carpet. I would in that not room. recommend anyway. it. Yeah, how would you <laughs> use like a traditional carpet cleaner on xanthan gum? No, you, you have just to, use have to vacuum, vacuum it. Oh. Yeah, because you couldn't get it wet, or it would ruin it, everything. Yeah. Never get it wet. <laughs> anyway, but washing out that bin. It's like, like a, it's like a mogwai, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's you don't want to get it wet after midnight, or <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't feed it after midnight. Don't get it wet. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Anyway, xanthan gum. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> so you you've got the uh, the cupcake cookbook. What other um, recipes do you have? Um. So we're working on a couple cookbooks. Um, in March, right before everything happened, I was actually out there working with my cousin who is a chef at a high, really high end, amazing restaurant out there. Um, but with everything that's happened, that's been in Arizona, pause, in Phoenix. Yeah. In Phoenix. Uh, so right after, like I got home the Sunday before everything shut down. Oh man. So that is in <laughs> development. We were going to release that next year. I'm not sure when, if that might be delayed. We'll see. Um, but we, I'm working on a book called sustainable keto. Okay. Uh, that'll be out. The Kindle version will be out end of January. That'll come out first. 
Um, it's available for pre-order on Amazon, but I haven't really talked about it yet. Okay. I just got it put up there. Um, so most of the recipes are on the website. Uh, we do have a Thanksgiving ebook coming out just as soon as I can get it back from my designer. Ooh. Nice. So she's had some um, power outages and stuff. She's been stuck in some of the areas that are getting hit hard. Well, she needs to like work harder to not have no power. Yeah, what? Yeah, I know. It's like you can't get things done when you don't have power. That weird. is really weird. <laughs> we actually had some employees that were working from home mm -hmm. and they had to go work at like their parents' house. Yeah. Because, because there was no the power. power. Was out. Yeah. Because for... we had the windstorm too. Yeah, you were talking about mm -hmm. like land hurricanes. We we got one after you guys yeah, did. We... Oh, did you really? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We yeah. just didn't get a name. It wasn't that cool. They were talking about <laughs> that it was sustained her um like category one hurricane yeah, there were, hurricane force there winds. Were quite a few so, trees. Something we don't usually experience mm -hmm. here in Utah. We also don't usually have tornadoes. But we though have we have had those a couple too. of those, which and is really weird. And an earthquake. <laughs> Not yeah, just recently. Too. 2020 is sucking. Yeah. Well, You're right. It's a few things we've heard about either, right? <laughs> yeah. Nothing makes the news cycle. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, what was I there was some meme going around. It's like all these things would have been, would have completely dominated the news cycle for oh. two weeks. And it's like, I can't even remember what I just read. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, there's so much going on. Anyway, lots of people are saying, Hey, free Xanthan gum with keto chow purchase yeah. or trick or treat. Here's your Xanthan gum. Nice. <laughs> okay. So you, you've got a, a Thanksgiving ebook, right? What's going to be in yeah. there? Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah, so full Thanksgiving menu. Um, okay. So so turkey's like, really hard to do keto. No, not not. Is but really I, turkey. I was kidding. No, there's no turkey. I didn't there's put no turkey in there. Really? Yeah, because okay. everybody has their own way of doing it, and okay, pretty much keto. Yeah, it, exactly. It's kind of hard to make a turkey not keto unless you dump a bunch of sugar on the outside. Which I, so, but I, what I, is I, in there is a glazed sugar-free ham. So we have a sugar-free maple bourbon glaze. Oh wow! To put okay. on the ham. So then all you have to do is find a low-sugar ham, which there's, they're pretty available. Like especially if you look like local, like locally. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. The, like the, there's a number of places you can get a low-sugar ham here in Iowa. So I'm sh hopefully around the country that's normal. Maybe it's just because we live like in a pork-producing state. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Iowa is one of the largest pork-producing states in the country. So. We, we do have uh, pretty good luck with finding uh, meat at local meat lockers and things like that. So Now, a not low sugar ham, how much how much sugar are we talking about? In a ham? Yeah. There's are we not... talking about one or two grams per ounce? Yeah, I mean, ounce, it's, pretty, or... it's really used for curing, right? Similar okay. to bacon. So yeah. just some of the, like, you want to avoid anything that says, like, that it's been, maple, like, injected with maple. Mm -hmm. Oh, so okay. sometimes they do like the special maple glaze, but they actually inject the maple and the sugar into the ham as well mm -hmm. as having the glaze. So you just really have to read the ingredients list and make sure sugar's at the end and not like one <laughs> of the, the like, second is this ham, ham sugar. Sugar, <laughs> yeah. sugar, sugar ham. ham. Like, you want to see like salt and things like that before. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what else is in the, I, I, I'm assuming you guys have a stuffing recipe yep. or a dressing. Would you guys call it stuffing or dressing? Well, so we left the stuffing out because it's not perfect enough for me yet. Oh, oh okay. It's still missing the stuffing, but we've got a green bean casserole. We've got two different kinds of rolls. So okay. did you guys like, so I grew up at Easter. We had the, or anybody watching, did you have like the clover, like the three part pull apart rolls? Yeah. Yes. Like you roll yes. in the balls, you put them in a cupcake tin, and then you pull them apart. Mm -hmm. We called them monkey something. And it was something. like it like goes like this kind of, and it had the two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what, what did we call them? Monkey, monkey bread. I think it was we called them monkey, monkey bread. bread. Yeah. Oh no, but that's different. These are like rolls. Like they're. Not, I know, yeah, but it's, it's look, a roll. But it looks like it looks like, like a cupcake, bread. but it has like three different sections. Three parts. Oh, yeah. you called yeah. that monkey bread? Yeah. Well, because monkey bread is like a cinnamon roll, right? But this was a roll that didn't have anything in it except for oh. it was just bread. I called it a roll, and I we called ate it, it delicious. My mom made, made them. My mom didn't make them, so I wish I haven't she had made them, them in twenty, 20 years. years. So yeah. it's okay. Well, you say you have something like that. Yes, I do. I have oh. that. 
and then a Coke. And so that one is, that one has dairy in it, Mary. I'm sorry. That's okay. But the, well, she's doing, she's doing dairy like once a week now. Yeah. Just, so. Just a little bit. So just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Anyway. And then there's a coconut flour based uh, roll as well. Nice. That I just got right. Um, what else is in there? Deviled eggs, obviously. Deviled eggs. Very picky about her deviled egg mix. Okay. Super picky. Am I? Yeah. So I what's like in your deviled eggs? Am mustard. I? mustard. <laughs> I just like, I just, there's got to be enough mustard in them. Tangy. Okay. It needs to be tangy. It does yeah. need to be tangy. It has to have the right amount of uh, vinegar. vinegar in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the most notable times I've ever made deviled eggs was, so we did a, a keto conference here um, in 2019 and Amber um, O'Hearn was coming and she is strict carnivore. Mm -hmm. Well, we made some deviled eggs <clears throat> and instead of using avocado oil, I was out of avocado oil to make the mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. We had a giant thing of bacon fat. Mm -hmm. So we made mayo with the bacon fat. It was good. Which was really good. And then we put bacon chunks in it. Um, it had some pepper, but she said that she was okay with that. And with the pepper. I was like, we made these just for you. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were super carnivore. They were Actually, really there might have been some uh, paprika. paprika in it. No, I didn't, I didn't put any paprika on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Brenda says they call them garlic knots in her world. Oh, yeah. And Mike says, pull apart bread is another name for monkey bread. Oh, there pull apart bread. Okay. So there you go. So uh, what else do you guys have going on that you're that you're working on? We have a secret project. Ooh, a secret project. project. So okay. Stay tuned. stay tuned to hear about that in a few weeks. Now, where do they need to stay tuned? At wholebodyliving.com or at Tara's Keto Kitchen, right? Uh, yeah, YouTube. Um, now, you're most active on YouTube, right? Correct. Yeah, we do. We post on Facebook. We have a free keto support group called Whole Keto. Okay. Um, we have it's member run. We have a few moderators that that kind of help keep things nice because our thing is love everyone, accept everyone. Yeah. Like, let's just be nice to each other. Supportive. If people um, aren't nice, does Jeremy get in there with his uh, with his grouchy face? And it's kind of a zero tolerance policy. We just <laughs> okay. if people start to be mean, do we like we just boot them. Oh, wow. We just, we just, we, in the beginning, we started to try to like mediate things and we're like, you know what? We can't spend all this time. So we just have very clear rules when people come in and it's mm -hmm. like, if, if you are going to be mean or like hypercritical or hurt somebody's feelings, like you need to be aware that you're typing, right? Like use emotions, like use smiley faces. If you're, if you're being funny, sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause we have, we had people like crying and you know because they were told they would, were doing keto wrong and so we're just kind of like you know what everybody has a different goal so yeah we just need to be nice to each other especially with this year well if you're <laughs> eating nightshades you're not doing keto if you're eating dairy you're not doing keto <laughs> well, there's, there's, there are there's so many controversial <laughs> topics like you know if should you have dairy should you know and yeah. You know, and some people we had. Would so you have peanuts? Yeah, peanuts. <laughs> yeah. If your body's producing ketones, then you're doing keto. That, that's kind of Jeremy, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop not it! Right. <laughs> it's not like this is a measurable, like, physical function of our bodies that you can use a clear definition. Stop it! <laughs> Drink out of your quart jar and. Yes. Healthy water. <laughs> right, I guess it's our amazing. Keto jar. Chow electrolytes. And hey. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> Iowa bowl. A canning jar is what you will find in our in our uh, cupboards. Yeah. So Maria wants to know what is the name of your Facebook uh, page it's, again? It's called Whole Keto. W H O L E. Okay. Yeah. So Whole Keto. If you search for it on Facebook, it comes right up. We do. do are there really good moderators on there? Nice. Do you ever have to step in, Jeremy? Come on. I know you have to do it. No. No? That's awesome. Okay. I got to <laughs> say, Facebook's not my spot. You know, it really... Oh, you're more of a TikTok girl, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. 
I yeah, I have actually have done the stinky leg on a TikTok with my daughters. So <laughs> wow, I should repost that. <laughs> you should. You should repost it. I want to see that. I need to use that. I forgot all about that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, dear. Okay, so um, you've got, yeah, so you're mostly active on the YouTube channel, correct? Yeah, that's really our primary social channel. Um, we've been getting better about cross-posting to Facebook and Instagram and kind of growing some of those, but YouTube's really where we started, and it's where most of our followers are. I, I don't know, YouTube's just, it's such a great place to go and just learn about anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, anytime we have a question, how to... YouTube it. Why won't how the to change open, right? the... How to get how my to... garage door to open. <laughs> I learned how to change the uh, lens on a uh, 2006 Toyota Corolla headlight. Mm -hmm. And they had it on YouTube, and it was great. And the guy so walked me through it. was there a YouTube it. video, how to get your daughter not to run into another car? It wasn't a car. <laughs> oh. It was a um, light oh. pole. One of the big surrounded by cement that they have in the high school parking lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is better than another. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they have those because, sure. yeah, she only had to pay 50 bucks to replace it and then watch me replace it. Yeah, you did a good job. <laughs> and then she went out to college. <laughs> yeah, I should have. I, yeah. I should charge her, call your mom once a week. That's right. Anyway. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about tonight? I don't know. Uh -huh. We're doing a cross promotion. Are we talking about that? We're doing what? What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're give, doing a giveaway. Oh, with we're you doing guys. a giveaway with you guys. Are we? When? Yeah, right now. So <laughs> apparently, Jeremy and Miriam know about this. Know Tara things. and I, we don't know. Like, Here, why don't like you guys that. talk about this? Tara and I are going to sit this one out. So, so that's a, f a fun thing we're doing with the ninety day challenges. We, are, you know, we work with a lot of different vendors or you know companies, and we're we're trying to. Uh, work with small companies because we're a small company. Um, but you guys have been gracious enough to give us, uh, allow us to give away a $150 gift card. Wow. Okay. Or keto chow. Um, that's right, right? That's what yeah, I saw. That's correct. I, that's I am not trying to like publicly shame you. Into giving us <laughs> like, You're you giving said. away a $2,000 shopping spree <laughs> to someone named Jeremy. <laughs> uh, so, we'll, yeah, we're doing a giveaway each week. Uh, last uh, Sunday, we did a keto crate box. And yes. so we're doing a, a keto chow. And then we've got some other ones coming up. I'm not sure. There's a bunch. Uh, Real Good Foods and some other stuff like There's that. There's a blood ketone monitor. Nice. Nice. And that's that's with if you sign up for the 90-day keto challenge. challenge, right? Yeah, if you sign up for the 90-day keto challenge, you'll get the giveaway emails. Uh, they'll nice. come right to your inbox. Um, okay. Otherwise, the giveaway is also up on social. So if you go to our Instagram or our Facebook stories... Oh, I okay. That, I know that they're they've been posted up. Um, one of our teenagers is actually helping me with all the social media for the challenge. Nice, so well, teenagers. Yeah. Teenagers are good at that. Wow, are they getting paid like five dollars an hour? Um, she's getting paid ten dollars an hour. Ooh, she's actually, a TikTok influencer. So, and she's oh. in her first year, second second year. year um, for a small business entrepreneurship degree. So she wants to run her wow. own company. So it's kind of a internship for her because she's getting to learn how to use all the different tools, you know, like your email marketing and everything and how everything works together. So she's just, she loves it, but she's really grown TikTok. She's always trying to get me to do TikToks, but. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a 13 year old girl. I can't do TikTok. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm 40. Aren't I too old for TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, does she know that she's getting a 1099 at the end of the year? Get it. They don't get it. They don't understand. <laughs> they know they have to We're save their taxes. To <laughs> my 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 youngest daughter just got her first job, and she was talking about how many hours she put in, and she's like doing the math, like I'm going to make this much money. I'm like, no, subtract 25 percent from that. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the, sorry for her though. She's making a pretty good. She gets tips on top oh. of her hourly wage. So mm. nice. Is it things like get a real job or uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of tip? 
Not dad joke tips. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, man, I think I might sign up for the 90 day challenge. That actually yeah, so yeah, your guys is, yeah. Your guys' giveaway is very generous and like, Yes, I, I hope you, a lot Miriam. of people will sign up for that because that's going to be, um, you know, could be a, a huge benefit for somebody who's just starting out and is looking for some support. Oh, yeah. You know, or just get back on track, right? Exactly. Been and, doing keto a couple of years. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, Halloween <laughs> coming up, you guys have so many great recipes and ways to incorporate keto chow into treats, you know, um, like having all those different things to fall back on when you're looking at your kids eating your candy. You're like, oh, I can make a sweet treat for myself, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, that's one of the things that we'll be talking about through the holidays. So keto chow is one of the giveaways I wanted to do pretty early on. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Well, um, we've been going on for, it's, it's been an hour now. So we try to keep this kind of short so we don't go on and on and on and ruin your evening. So <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, you, they're at wholebodyliving.com or at Taro's Keto Kitchen. Taros. Thanks so Did much I, for having us. This was really fun. Good to meet <laughs> you. Yeah. And thank you for using what appears to have been a wired internet connection. Always. That's right. Rock solid. Good Got job. Gigabit speed down here in Iowa. Boom. <laughs> when you marry a tech guy, it comes with the, the highest possible internet bill you can get uh, in yeah. your area. I've hey, got we've got pictures of us too. running wire in our house when it was being built. We have pictures of us running wire in our house before people did that. Yeah. Like 20 well, years if, ago. if you don't run Cat 5e, you can't run Gigabit, know, and then you're right? stuck with Wi Fi. The and it construction sucks. guys were Everybody's like, why like, are you no, doing just that? Wireless. And Jeremy's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually on a wireless signal here, and I hate that. The rest of the house is wired, but this one, it's actually using a plume backhaul. So it's kind of wired, but not. Anyway, pseudo. Yeah. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. You guys need a separate YouTube channel for your nerd talk. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll catch you later, and hopefully we'll see you at least on, on the Keto Cruise, if not sooner than that. Hopefully so. sooner. All right. Bye, All right. guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Good night, Bye. everybody.